So we want to begin looking at some examples that are built to help us learn the process. As we learn the process, then we're going to start to look at examples that we can see modeled out in our real world. So let's work this one together. We have a word statement, a word problem. 9 subtracted from 8 times a number is 39. Find the number. Read it carefully. Now I want to try to write expressions in terms of x. And the first thing to do is, well, what is x? What's the unknown in this process? Well, it tells us the unknown is, it asks us in the question, find the number. We don't know what the number is, so that's our variable. That's our unknown in this particular case. How can we find some other keywords here? Uh, nine is a keyword. Subtracted is a keyword. Eight times is a keyword. Number is a keyword. Is is a keyword. 39 is also a keyword. So all those are the key words. Now we just got to figure out what do they mean. So I see I have nine subtracted from something. Nine subtracted from. So I'm going to have a take away a nine. Subtracted from what? Eight times a number. Times means multiplication. Eight times a number. So it could be eight times what we don't know, which was that number, which we already assigned as our unknown. So nine subtracted from eight times a number is, always means equal, and in this particular case, we are given that it equals 39. So we, now we have an equation. We created an equation based on this word statement. Again, this is why we use algebra. We were able to write the same thing in a very brief algebraic statement that took us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 words to write in a lot of space. That's what algebra and mathematical thinking allows us to do is to translate to a clear, concise statement so we have a better process to make in, or to find a solution. What do we do from here? Well, we solve. So we isolate the variable term, which is 8x. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. Thirty-nine plus nine is what? Forty-eight. Divide both sides now by eight to isolate the variable. So I'm left with x equals six. So what is the number? Nine subtract from eight times this number produces a thirty-nine. So this is a process I want us to help to start to get the feel of as we learn to problem solve with our mathematical thinking.